Uh, Kannapolis Y has continued to be a bedrock in the community without change. Mr. Cannon paid for every student in Cabarrus County to become a member of the YMCA. And it was through Mr. Cannon's generosity that he, we became the largest YMCA in the world. I think the mission of the Y started uh, on a solid mission and I think today it still does. And, and I look at the initials YMCA. C is still there. In today's world, it needs to be significant, and I think it is. My name's uh, Walter Seyfried II. Actually, I go by Wally Seyfried. My dad was uh, executive director of the Y for a number of years. I've been a member of the Y since I was six years old, so that's been 62 years that I've been a member of the Y. Everyone who was in Kannapolis uh, in the 50s and the 60s certainly remember the old YMCA campaigns, membership campaigns, where the entire town was divided into the red team and the blue team and incredible efforts were made to join, to have people join to see who would be the winner, ultimate winner of the, uh, of the contest. My parents both worked in the mill. My mother always joined us to the red team. It was a dollar for uh, kids to join the Y, so we got to join the Y every year on the red team. Had nothing to do with the blue team. Did not like the blue team. <laughs> the supervisor was you're going you're gonna to be on the red team and you're going to be on the blue team. And uh, so we, we'd go around and talk to our employees you know, to get them to join the Y. Back then you could do that on the job. And uh, anyway, uh, the more, you know, the ones that had the most members that day, that light would be shining. We would ride by the Y to see a light that was atop the Y one, it had a red light and a blue light, and everyone stopped by the Y to be able to see who was in the lead at that point. And at the end of the whole process, there was a great banquet, and the winner was declared, and great celebrations were, were held by everyone involved. Camp, Camp Elliott was uh, about a 75-acre property uh, that surrounded a lake. Uh, between Old Fort and Black Mountain, North Carolina. It had two sessions uh, in the summer. There were four weeks for the boys and three weeks for the girls. They engaged in all kinds of uh, exercises and, and experiences. Absolutely special in the history of the Y. It goes back to the 30s, uh, up through the uh, 70s. So a lot of kids, boys and girls, went through the Camp Elliott experience and uh, thoroughly learned quite a bit about life by, by uh, those few weeks in the, in the uh, North Carolina mountains. The YMCA staff members that work with the young men, the men's department, would get some of us younger boys on the weekend and take them on a camping trip. Well, the camping trip was just down the road over where the Kannapolis Golf Course is uh, right now. It was this, this Y cabin that they had sat beside of the lake down there. And we went over and spent Friday nights, they had double bunks, and came back on Sunday morning in time to go to church. I remember going to uh, uh, stay at home camp at the Y. We had Camp A it, but some people uh, chose to have stay at home camp. And so we'd go to the Y and there'd be activities for us uh, swimming games, the whole enchilada of Camp 8 was a camp for kids. As a family with three small children, I was an elementary, I was a school teacher, my husband worked for the meal, and we didn't have a lot of money at that time, but we had fun every Friday night at the YMCA because we would bring our three boys and we would have family swim night. And those are precious memories that my boys still talk about. Well, swimming at the Y, I didn't think it was exactly fair that the boys um, had uh, got to swim without their swimsuits. Um, and the girls had to wear swimsuits and bathing caps. So, um, <laughs> well, 
there was a place where the community came. There was no place else in Kannapolis. Rotary Club met at the YMCA. Some of the other civic clubs met at the YMCA. We had a barber shop in the building. We had a library in the building. We had uh, a swimming pool. We had two gymnasiums. And we had staff everywhere. The Y had a duck pen bowler. We'd bowl once in a while. And I'd go down to the swimming pool and watch people swim. I never was a swimmer. But uh, the Y is a good Christian organization. The YMCA has a big impact on the community in my book. As a kid, um, growing up in the Y, um, I had great leaders, people that I looked up to, and I, I, see, that, I see that for the kids today. Um, a lot of times they're, they're not, they don't have the home life, and a child can come to the Y and, and there's leaders there that they can look up to. There's so many changes in, in this world. I lived elsewhere for a short period of time, but I came back and I found the Y here as the social institution that I remember and uh, the activities were, were, were helpful to me. I'm from Kannapolis, North Carolina, born and raised. I've been associated with the YMCA for, I would like to say all my life, or I know for a fact for 28 years. I'm 31, so. 28 years, that's pretty much all my life. It was a privilege for me and my buddies to be able to walk up here and play basketball, um, court A and court B. The best competition was on court A, and um, either you had to sit and watch or you could go to court B and play. Um, normally, I was always on court B. The Y has been a staple in my life since a young kid on up. And one thing is, in this area, this all I ever knew was the Y. I didn't know uh, another option, uh, anything. It was either go to the Y and play in the air conditioner or play on that dirt court that you got in your backyard. You know, the rim might be bent. So up here was just, it was first class. I was able to become a member and stay a member for a long time, and it's always been home to me. I became an employee here in 2013. I think the great thing about the position that I hold right now in the Y is that I'm able to look through the lenses of both sides. And I feel like here in this area, in this community, I'm that connected piece. Everyone here is joined together as one family, one team.